Hi, you're here for hot tea and a few of you guys want me to throw more disclaimers other than my actual intro and I do not know why but I'll just say all my commentary is alleged and in my opinion only and for entertainment purposes only the new season of love and marriage huntsville comes on april the 8th and their trailer dropped and i got a chance to check it out on instagram from omfg reality tv so y'all go over there and check it out if you want to see the whole thing in totality i'm going to play the whole thing here on my channel as well but i'm also going to be stopping and pausing and giving some of my commentary because i don't want to get copywritten because i did post this um earlier today but as soon as i posted it i got a copyright strike strike so um i did edit it down a little bit and put some commentary on it so don't forget to like subscribe comment hit the post notification bell so you can be alert when i post new videos and you can keep up with all of the latest love and marriage huntsville news see anything he said cute outfit i like it <laughs> Okay, so I'm thinking that my predictions about us really honing in on Kimmy's health is going to be a big part of her storyline. So my predictions about that are right. And then also, we don't see Mel anywhere here in this room. And that's not to say that she's not there. This is just a small observation. Marriage is just difficult. Nobody should come to me and provide me with information about the company that I don't know about ahead of time. Okay, Tisha's trying to get a little ballsy, and I'm sure Marceau is not going to like that, so I'm interested to hear his response to that. She builds your business up to a multi-million dollar business, and then you kick her out. Like, you don't respect her. And Martel need to be so for real. First of all, who built the, the business up to a million dollar company? Tisha or Mel? Secondly, of course, he's never respected her. What are y'all talking about? This is the same storyline, but hopefully they're going to be completely transparent and going down. That just irritated me. Absolutely not. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, look, you said enough. I, remember. I also wonder what the altercation may be with Kiki and Tiffany. Also, do you think Stormy used this time to bring up the baby love issues with Mel? And that's why Mel said, I'm going to leave because she don't have time for the nonsense or giving nobody moments. That's my opinion. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments. The same people you turning against me, how would they feel if they know you still begging me to take you? Okay, so like I stated in my last video, it looks like Neil will be Mel's ally and she's going to be her friend to her this season and vent to her. Yeah. Upscale Magazine, I want to thank you guys. Also want to know, look who's standing closest to Cherie, so, or Sheree. So the Scots, look at Letitia, they're groupies, they're users, they're opportunists, and that's just my opinion. They're wanting to be around anybody that they think can elevate them and use them up. So just, ugh. Also, Letitia is fanning out in that outfit that looks similar to Mel in the meeting that they're going to have at the end of this. What is it like dating? I mean, he has a reputation for being a cheater. Again, like I said in my last video, I do think Tiffany will be an ally. She always asks the right questions. Unfortunately for the other group members or cast members, Mel is always in the right. So her questions that she poses to them are going to make them feel uncomfortable because it is going to give them, you know, food for thought. That is an accurate question. Why are you dating him, Sheree? You're weird. I also hope Tiffany threw something in there shady, like is the or is this for a storyline? <laughs> and we just they just didn't put it in um, the review clip. Let me know down below what you think of this. As educated as you are, she has... she actually asked, that. "Are you drunk?" Again, she's asking the right questions. I hope they don't cast her out. 
Messing up what I got with Sheree. So you got a point. I was wondering you right. Also, y'all, pay attention. Remember what I said about Sheree might be an ally to Mel. She might come in as Martel's girlfriend and then not want to be with him no more because of his ways. You get what I'm saying? Look at what Martel said. Oh, you might mess what I got going on with Sheree. Even though, like... Nobody can mess that up. It's fake. Someone's right. What out? Here's the outfit that Mel has, y'all. What we like to do is have us to work together as a. And this is the outfit that Tisha had on when she seen Mel with that outfit. So might I add, this meeting came before the um, photo op that she had with Sheree with a similar outfit. I'm just throwing that in there, y'all. I'm just throwing that in there. And I hope Mel told they as hell no. What the. Okay, you guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this review or let me know what you think about the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Do it look a little bit different? In my opinion, it might be a little bit dull. Who knows? We'll see. But with that being said, head over to OMFG Reality TV on Instagram if you want to see the whole clip without any stops and you want to hear everything. Yeah. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. It's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In, no. in the case of anybody, it's just entertainment purpose. Oh, it's not. In